What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin, and welcome to episode 3 of our Pokemon Moon Cool Lock Challenge. If you missed last episode, oh boy, did some things happen. Um, we fought How for a second time. Fortunately, he did not have his Mega Aerodactyl that we uh, squared off against the first time. Uh, so we were able to beat him successfully. Um, as well as pick up a new member to the squad. So let's go ahead and check that out. Nope, nope, there we go. We've got Milady, the level 10, Faramosa. What is what nature are you? What nature is that? The gentle nature. With Rapid Spin, Leer, Double Kick, and Swift. We have uh, Pixel, our level 11, Tapu Lele, Sassy Nature. A little sassy little Tapu Lele. Uh, with Draining Kiss, Astonish, Psy Wave, and Confusion. And we have Babe, our level 10, Lonely Grumpy. Oh, she's lonely. Uh, with Odor Sleuth, uh, Sidebeam Splash, and Psy Wave. So we are on our way. We're making our way downtown. Walking fast, faces past, and I'm laboratory bound. Uh, make, making our way to the professor's lab. Alola, check out my cute Pokemon. Is it actually going to be cute, or is it going to be something terrifying? It's probably going to be something terrifying. Challenged by Youngster Madison. Thank you. What do you got? A Skittle! That is actually kind of cute! I do like Skittle. And then comes out Faramosa. Faramosa looks shorter than it should be. I feel like Faramosa should be like 8 feet tall. You're kind of strong, aren't you? I mean, that's... I guess. I mean, my two legendary Pokemon uh, kind of help. So, um, so I believe... Is there an item over here? There might be an item over here. There's not. I've been bamboozled! Nice Sharpedo. I think I've made it so that wild Pokemon can have their hidden abilities. I'm not positive about that, but I think I made it that way. This Faramosa is going to be busted. Like, I thought Taipu Lele was going to be busted, but like, this Faramosa is going to be like, actually stupid busted. So we'll just kill this one, and then we'll actually get on with some story. Okay. Oh yeah, Rockruff, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Woo! Ah, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more helpful if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. That's the only place to research things, girl. You don't actually do science, do you? Uh, if you don't know, I am a uh, evolutionary biologist and a geologist by training. Um, looks like we'll have to patch that roof again. And I just watched his lab go and finally gotten it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Whatever you say, girl. Oh. 
I love the I love the fish tank. I think that that fish tank by itself is one of my favorite things in this entire game, just because there's a Corsola just chilling. There's a love disc that just kind of goes up and down. I love it. Hi there, Gavin. Thanks for thanks for getting in for me, Lily. Of course. However, I can be a help. I'm, I am supposed to be your assistant, right? I have yawn. Oh. Sorry. Rockcraft's moves are just so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Gavin, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Willy? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside of the Pokedex called Rotom. Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Ro Oh, oops. Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. Rotom is a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, but I don't think this is... Yeah, this seems like Kukui. Yeah, buddy. And to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work. It's the next generation of Pokedexes. Pokemon indexes, not encyclopedias. But it's only complete once a Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! There's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I can power up your Pokedex with the parts I just got in... Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom, here boy. Here boy, come here. I powered up your favorite decks. Give Gavin a here a helping hand, yeah. So is Rotom basically like my Pokemon too? Like, so do I actually have seven Pokemon with me at all times? Nice to meet you, pal. Adrenaline on the goods, okay? See, Gavin, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? God, Kukui's voice does a number. Gavin hasn't been here in Lola too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom decks to help navigate around. Thank you very much. You can see where you are by just... You can see where you are just by looking at Rotom. If you give it a little tap... Tap, tap, tap a -roo. You can check out the town map. Who says how? Just barging in? Yep. Alola. The salty breeze sang, sang to me and brought me here to you. I have to again. Ooh. I apologize. Oh, it's just auto text. Oops, I missed some text there. Might be. Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Gavin? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. Where do you stay? Where's your house? So, Gavin, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Gavin. Yeah. So that's the, so that's the Rotom Dex, huh? It's kind of cute. All right. There's some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge Champion. Woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. Okay, so here's where I'm going to explain uh, where the coin situation works and how that's different than a Shady Lock. I know it's episode 3, but I was waiting for a good spot. And this music has got me amped, so I'm excited. Um, how it normally would work in a Shady Lock, or a Cool Lock, as they are called on my channel. Um, basically, you start with three cool coins, and for every gym you beat, you get an extra one. Every time you use Pokemon Center, we take one away. Um, now, obviously, there are no gyms in this, in this game. So, the way I'm doing it, is, um, how am I doing it? Okay. So, for islands, where there's only one trial, 
which is this island, and Pony Island, the last island, the trial, and the grand trial fighting the Kahuna, each can give a cool coin. On the middle two islands, whose names escape me, we get a cool coin for the first. So like for, for the next island, where there's three trials and then the grand trial. So we get a coin for the first one and the second one. But in order to get our coin for the first for the first one, or no, for the third one, we have to beat the grand trial. So basically we get one from Ilma, one from Hala, one from um, Lana, one from Kiawe. And then to get our next one, we have to beat um, Olivia. So in between there is Malo. We don't get one from beating Malo. Instead, we get one from beating Olivia, which is pretty much right after. So there's five. Then we go and fight, or I think the ghost trial is next. We go do the ghost trial. There's one. Um, and then the electric trial. We don't get one from Sophocles' trial. We get one when we beat Nanu. If you, if, you know, spoilers. Uh, we, we, beat, we get one when we beat Nanu instead. And then for the last island, we get one from the dragon trial, and then one from beating um, Habu. So there's nine coins to get all together, plus the three we have. So hopefully I explained that well. Um, you know, that'll become relevant as we get there, so I'm sure I'll explain it again at some point. Gavin, I want you and Farimosa to get out there and give it a, sh give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in their very first battle. Even though you lost. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strengths. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, like, I'll do it, I guess. Oh, his voice is killing me. I have to stop. Oh, yeah. As someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everybody on the, on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Thanks, bro. Put a shirt on. Oh, I never checked how much money Mom gave me last episode. I really would think that it is, like, 10 grand. Actually, no, it's 30 grand, isn't it? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 30 grand. I'll go on for my gramps, too. All right, then, Gavin. You too, Howe. Get a move on. Okay. Bye, Felicia. To the trainer school. Okay. Um, We get an encounter. We get one encounter in there. That's correct. And there's also our first Pokemon in there, so we can use that if we want to. I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them. Right. The, I the Island Challenge. So this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Gavin, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help, help him find his way around. <sighs> Alright, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Back this way. Well, I mean, that's one good thing about Firewalls, is that we'll always be able to get away from battles. I'm gonna go ahead and save so I don't have to ever re have, to, have to redo that text. I love Kamala. <laughs> I love Kamala so much. They might make me heal right here. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to full health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't st I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Okay, so there's the PC. Cool. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. There's the Mart. Nice. 
Thanks. Uh, I know how to use Pokemon Center. Thank you very much, Lily. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. At trainer school next, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. All right, so we're going over yonder. All right, what if, what do you got? I do have 35 grand. Wow, wild. Um, I'm gonna do that. Just so, you know, if we were ever in anything like super incredible, we have we have some Pokeballs. Plus a Premier Ball. Um, so we have 10 potions. That's fine. Um, I think I want probably like, like three antidotes. Some Paralyzed Heals. We might as well buy them now since we have money. An escape rope is always useful to have. <coughs> Alright. So, Nurse Joy, you are a dirty gold digger. So we will not be giving you any money today. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... a what in the world? Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon. Thanks to Tauros there. How did you just know that was there? Weird. But we're only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. <laughs> Not my problem. Hey there, Gavin. I must have passed you two somewhere. Yeah. But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to become a Pokemon trainer. Professor, mm, Professor Kukui, is the child? Is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, teach. See, I, I told you last episode he realized the number four. Four trainers. We've got to be four Pokemon trainers here at the trainer school, Gavin. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? So. I'm not sure how I feel about the experience yet. I'll probably only use it when I'm grinding. Actually, I know I'm only going to use it when I'm grinding. So, it is default as on, so I have to make sure I remember to turn that off. If you keep that experience share on, yeah. All the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. The trainers who will take part in this lesson will be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. Thanks, fam. She may not look like it all. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a champion. Captain, not champion. Captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you fought a species of Pokemon, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, it'll tell you what's super effective against it or not. Wandering about in the tall grass, meet lots of different Pokemon, will help with that. Battle all the time. Oh yeah. Alright, so first things first. There's grass over here. Are you one of these trainers? Yep. I'll teach tactics that I learned here at school by beating you with them. Alright, who are you? You're an ace trainer? Ace trainer Joey! Oh, wait. That's not good. Um, I mean, you are only level 7? Oh, thank god. Alright, that, 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 that's, much, that's much better. I can just double kick you. We're fine here. That's interesting. I didn't think it would work like that. I think it has to be level 20 before uh, it can become super wishy-washy. Thanks. 
All right. So what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Survey says. That's not bad. That's not terrible. Um, I think it might have sleep powder at this point. That did nothing. Stun spore. But we're dodging. I probably could switch to Tepalele and uh, Astonish, but it's okay. I don't really think it can touch us too hard anyway. Even, like, from full, I think it probably would have lived a swift as well. We are nimble. We are so nimble out here. So I want to get it in the red before I try and catch it. Trying to say, even though we're not like hurting for money, I want to try and save Pokeballs. Alright, so one more rapid spin should do. actually like really refreshing to not have a speed up button in this game because like in like Desume or uh, you know VBA I, I tend to really over use the speed button so I, I'm kind of glad that I don't have it it's you know let me take my time appreciate this game uh, these games really are incredible I love these games Ooh. all right well I can rapid spin again Goes for the sweet scent. Interesting. Well, it's gonna be landing those um, stun spores now. All right, come on, friend. One, two, three. Sunny day. Okay. Now, you probably have chlor chlorophyll as well. I almost said chloroform. I hope you don't have chloroform. That'd be, uh... I'd have to ask a couple uh, follow-up questions there. So you have Sunny Day, Stun Spore, um, Sweet Scent, and Mega Drain. That's not a terrible moveset. Gives us some status, uh, a little bit of speed control. Not that we have a really speed problem with Faramosa, but... That's a lot of experience. Oh, I didn't turn experience chart off. Fluff. So, so we might gain a level. Yeah, Babe's probably going to gain a level. I would like to give Blast my nickname. We're going to get the error. That's fine. So we are a male Blossom. Oh, what is the name? Uh, David. That's his name. The uh, Fire Dancer from Lilo and Stitch. We have David. The Blossom on the squad. Let's check him out. After I save real quick. David's also holding an item. Greet mail. Useful. Oh, it's a special attack down nature. You do have chlorophyll, so that's that's kind of cool. Oh, sorry. You know, sitting in this chair for a long time makes my butt hurt. Okay, so I mean, you are your spadef nature, which is you know pretty decent actually. Um, so you get to twenty eight speed with the sun. 
Now, speed's tapped lately, but oh my god, Ferramosa. <laughs> Ferramosa, calm down. So, Ferramosa is going to have to be our big, uh, big buggy button, I think. Alright, so we will... I will go ahead and turn off the experience share as well. So let's let's actually heal up um, both Faramosa and David. Milady. All right. So the team's looking pretty clean right now. If I do say, if I do say so myself. What else could we have had here? Well, we already have two psyche types, so I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, thank you. All right, so real quick, I'm going to look up Blossom's level up moveset. Shiny Blossom looks so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Shiny Blossom. Um, so Mega Drain Sweet Set stun, stun Spire at level 1. It learns no new moves until level 39 when it gets Quiver Dance. And then it gets Puzzle... It gets... Wow, it doesn't learn another move. So it learns moves every 10 levels from there. So 39 Quiver Dance, 49 Petal Blizzard, 59... Petal Dance, uh, and 69 Leaf Storm. So, hmm. I don't think we'll be using this, this Pokemon all that much. See if it had some of its, because it has some Heart Scale moves, it has Leaf Blade and Leaf Storm as Heart Scale moves, as well as it's supposed to get Magical Leaf when you evolve it. If it had those, that might be different. Mega Drain's only base 40. Um, so you know what? I'm not going to uh, spend experience points on David, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll put Bay off front. Alright, so we'll see if we can't find one more trainer before we uh, end off today's episode. Nice podium, that's fun. Uh, we can also get the Quick Claw in here as well. Pretty useful item. From this lady, I believe. Why, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't want to talk to you again. Okay, what about you? Are you a trainer? Not you. All right, you're a trainer. Boy, you're awfully close. Sensor close and you want a battle. Is that what you want? Huh? Is it? And I'll show you what how I like to fight. Up close and personal. Alright, fam. Okay. Up close and personal. I'm I might I might be okay with that. I just love how Grumpix just like Hey guys! I'm just happy to be part of the team. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I'm super over leveled. 
look at those eyes. Gavin, don't do that. Don't wink at the camera. Don't do that kind of thing. Alright, let's go upstairs. I think there's one upstairs. Nope, it's just her. Alright. So, um... We'll fight... There's technically two more trainers. We'll fight one more really quickly. Because I know she's over here. Another podium. Cool. Is there one down here? A tr uh, uh, an item, I mean? No. Hello. I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. Bars, if you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. Honeymooners, Hiromi. <laughs> okay. A mag Magneton. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we have Psywave for just such an occasion. Oh my god, I love Grumpig. Like, as OP as the rest of our squad is, Grumpig is probably my favorite. Like, Babe is probably my favorite Pokemon on the squad, if I'm being honest. Of course, now that I said that, Babe's gonna die, like, ne like next episode. It's so funny to watch. I just love it. Also, Grumpig is weirdly really good in Pokemon Go. Alright, so we have one more trainer battle and then uh, the so sort of boss of the trainer school so we will take both of them on next episode thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video as much as i did please 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 like and or subscribe follow me on twitter and twitch at cool trainer gav and until next time smile later